Happy freaking Monday, roomies. I hope you're getting a little bit of me time if possible. I know it's early in the work week. We'll get through. We always do. But I got to keep it real with you. Your girl took a mental health day today. I never really do this. When I take off, it's because my kids are sick. Um, something major is going on. But I said to myself, I've had some things going on in my life. I'm fine. But I decided because I'm starting to really listen to myself. And it's so funny. Let me backtrack a little bit. I, I know I always push get your me time. And that's very easy to say to everybody. Um, I am guilty of not always doing that for myself. And I feel like it's hard for a lot of adults to actually get some me time. But I made the decision to take Monday off, which I did. And it's been wonderful. You need to take care of yourself and think of your body as, as a, like an automobile. Like when you're feeling off, it's like your engine is taking a shit and you have to listen like, bitch, the check engine light is on. It's time to regroup. All right. Now you can't put yourself in, you know, the, the, the car dealership and get your maintenance done and all that bullshit. So it's your responsibility to make time for yourself. If that makes sense. I know I I'm quirky and I, kind of sound out there, but this is how my brain works. Okay. So I did, I put my kids on the school bus this morning, um, hopped in the shower. No, I did not straighten my hair. I don't have my hair curly often, but if you followed ladies break room for a while, you know, there's occasionally when, when your girl's got her curls going, it was my me time day. I'm not sitting for an hour and a half blowing out this curly Italian hair. I'm not doing it. So let the curls fly. Hopped in the car, I went to the bookstore. Roomies, the bookstore makes me so freaking happy. You walk in and um, I instantly smell the smell of the books. Now that sounds crazy, I'm sure, but you will walk in a bookstore from now on and you're gonna be like, I get it. And you're gonna love it, okay? But, so I walked around and I can spend so much time there. That's my thing, that may not be your niche, but. I, I go aisle by aisle. I literally, I love world history, um, but there's other books that I enjoy too. So I'll go aisle by aisle if something like piques my interest. So I bought myself a book. I went and had coffee by myself, which was so nice. Like I sat there, I read my book. I was in my moment. Just stuff was like happening around me. Like I could hear people, but it was like, oh, I shut it out. Did a couple other things for myself, which I never freaking do. We have to understand men and women, um, and even your children. I give my children two mental health days a school year. That shit is vital. You have to check in with yourself. You just do. And that's why I'm preaching this. Um, so I come home, right? Had this great morning. I exercised. Exercise for me, and I'm not pushing, you know, diet and exercise on anybody. I don't push any kind of like fancy pills or any of that bullshit. But it, for me, someone who has battled anxiety, if I miss a day or two of fitness, I can feel it, not just physically, I can feel it emotionally and mentally. So I worked out because I need that. That's part of my shit. I literally have focused my day on calm center. Life can throw some freaking shit at you but it is your responsibility. It is not anybody else's responsibility. It is not your partner's responsibility. It's not anybody else's but your own to create your own happiness. Regardless of what's going on in your life, this is all you. It's your own self-work. So today, I took care of myself. I feel good. I, uh, I'm feeling the bravest I've ever been in my life. Now, I'm not asking you to take mental health days or me time days constantly, you will be unemployed. And please don't blame ladies break room or me because you lost your job. I'm saying this is something you do when you absolutely need it for yourself. Okay. I love you guys. Get some freaking me time. Till the next time.